Before I get started, I just want to say that Apex Legends is my favorite game of all time. By far, the developers that respawn are very smart and successful. I'm sometimes critical of the game and the developers simply because I want the game to succeed. I want the game to be the best that it can be. So we all know that cross progression is one of the most requested features for Apex Legends. Respawn developers rightly point out that the contractual obstacles are way bigger than the technical ones, but I think the biggest obstacle might be EA, the parent of Respawn Entertainment. A conspiracy theory is that Respawn or EA is purposely delaying cross progression to capitalize in the short run on people having to spend money uh, when switching platforms. So after that cycle dries up, they will give us the promised cross progression as the theory goes. So I've listed a link uh, to the games with crossplay in the description of the video. Uh, one interesting thing about that list is that there are very few EA games on it. The only big EA games on that list are Apex Legends and Need for Speed. Uh, according to media reports in 2020, Need for Speed was the first EA game to receive crossplay support. Another IP that should be on that list but isn't is Battlefield 2042. So big EA IPs like Madden NFL and FIFA are not cross-platform or cross-progression. Uh, the only big EA IP that has cross-progression that I know of is actually Battlefield 2042. I think EA might be testing the waters with Battlefield. It's lower risk for both EA and the various platforms since Battlefield games don't have a very long lifespan as compared to games like Apex Legends. Now let's discuss five games that are the most similar to Apex Legends uh, as an analogy. So Warzone, PUBG, Fortnite, Halo, and Overwatch. Some of these games implemented cross progression and the gaming communities greatly benefited and others didn't and they died out. Fortnite has cross progression across all major platforms, which is why their lawsuit with Apple was a steep climb and a head scratcher. They basically sued Apple in part because they were forced to use the iOS app store and were forced to give Apple a 30% cut, except that because of cross progression, that actually wasn't true. Warzone also has cross progression across all major platforms. Uh, your progress is saved in your Activision account. PUBG is not cross platform between console and PC, uh, but it is between PlayStation and Xbox. But unfortunately, PUBG doesn't have cross progression. Halo Infinite is available on PC and Xbox and has cross progression. Microsoft wouldn't want to treat its first party titles differently from its third party titles. So most Xbox games are probably eligible uh, for cross progression between Xbox and PC. Uh, Overwatch does not have cross progression. An interesting trend is that games that are more fully cross platform between console and PC specifically tend to have cross progression, but games that silo console and PC players tend not to have cross progression between console and PC or between console platforms. Apex Legends keeps its console and PC players segregated unless a console uh, user teams up with a PC player, so this segregation of the player base is less consistent with there being cross progression in the game. So here are the facts. EA tends not to permit cross play or cross progression in its games. Apex Need for Speed and Battlefield are notable exceptions. In 2020, Apex was one of the very first EA games to receive cross-play support along with Need for Speed and a few other games. Battlefield 2042 is the only major EA game that I'm aware of that has cross-progression. If it works out for Battlefield, then Apex probably will get it, but if it doesn't, then it might get delayed even longer for Apex. So we know EA is interested in cross-progression and we know they are capable of implementing it in a major IP, so this implies that they could implement it with Apex Legends right now and perhaps has chosen not to yet. Apex's two primary competitors, Fortnite and Warzone, are probably still bigger than Apex in terms of uh, player base and both have cross progression so if you are EA this might be a vote in favor of it. Large global free to play battle royale games need to have cross progression because people will be more willing to spend money on a free to play game if they know they can take their digital items with them to any platform. PUBG and Overwatch are also competitors to Apex. They didn't implement cross-progression and both games are on a steep decline. So again, if you are EA, this should be a vote in favor of cross-progression. In conclusion, after looking at the facts and history of behavior, I think EA will eventually implement cross-progression in Apex because it helps prevent churn, uh, but not until Apex's active user base starts to decline. But I hope I'm wrong. EA has a short-term monetary incentive to not implement cross-progression in Apex uh, since they make money on people switching platforms, but this is thinking small and is a bad business decision in my opinion, although I acknowledge that there are probably hurdles to cross-progression at the various platforms, especially with PlayStation, and that is probably why cross-progression is relatively uncommon. But these obstacles can be overcome with enough effort. 
people have life events and sometimes that results in a change in gaming platform. Cross progression gives players an incentive to keep playing a certain game after switching platforms and it increases the amount of money a player spends in the long run because it decreases the risk of spending. Without cross progression people are just less willing to spend because they are afraid of losing their investment if they switch platforms. It's business 101 and it's just common sense. If I try to sell you a piece of software uh, that is locked to one hardware platform, you are going to be less likely to buy it than if I tell you the software is hardware agnostic. At some point EA's bad decisions are going to hit a critical mass and it's going to be uh, desperate to retain its Apex user base so it will be forced to implement cross progression. So it's a catch-22. If you continue playing Apex Legends, EA and Respawn won't have an incentive to give you cross-progression, but when you stop, they just might. But it could be too late. Ha ha ha. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.